Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to North Country Off Grid. We are offloading water buckets back here. She's got some pen mates. A lot of you suggested to put the goats uh, in here so that she's got some someone to hang out with. We've been getting a little bit of rain up here and she found the dry spot underneath that tree back there. All that dirt stays dry, so she's back there. Love and life. We're working on her water system here. We got a water storage tank here where we can reservoir water. Uh, and then it goes down into the bucket there. Plenty of water for her, so we're getting that set up. I do need to come up with whatever fittings are gonna go into there, turn the corner 90 degrees, and then dump the water into her. So today we are going to go and get her a big bale of grass. Uh, we're gonna come back, drop it off, and then we're gonna take the trailer over to Jeremy and Angela's of Living the Dream Homestead. They have got some um, roof metal for us that they scored. Uh, and he's gonna he was just over here visiting and if you guys want to see that video I'll put the link in the description below but he just came over uh, I was checking out the pigs and stuff you guys can see from his point of view hanging out here uh, but he's got a bunch of roof metal for that uh, he said he just scored a bunch and so I can come over and get a little bit so we're gonna go over there today too so we got some running around to do the place we're gonna go get grass is kind of a commercial operation the guy buys a bunch of different stuff from people uh, and you can go there and kind of shop what you want. So we're going to pull in, get loaded up. Uh, it's in and out real quick. It's pretty cool. And then, then we're going to head off to Jeremy's. So if you guys want to come along, uh, come along, see what we do. We're going to figure out a way to drop off. We're getting a big bale. We're getting a thousand pound big square bale, uh, which I have really no way of offloading. So we're going to get creative with it. We'll see. But we're going to have to get creative to get it off. The goats are rutting right now. So they're making a bunch of noise cow doesn't really seem to care back there about these goats being in here she's just kind of watching the craziness but these goats are getting bred up hoping to get rid of them if you guys are local looking for goats uh, got some different types some Nubians got a little boar a boar buck there that dude there is a Nubian buck registered uh, and the rest of these are 100% uh, pure Nubian but they got to go I want to get rid of them and uh, hopefully get this cow a roommate get another one here before the winter hits uh hopefully hey guys it's shelby mckinley and we've got creed back there we are on our way to go get some grass for our new what did we get mckinley yeah. Woohoo! she needs some grass so we are on our way to go do it creed is so excited here we go Shelby is back with the load of hay. Good job, Shelby. We gotta offload this thing, and I kinda want it pretty much here. Cow's there, grass is here under this tree. It'll help to keep it dry. I don't have a way of offloading it, this thing's a thousand pounds, so what we're doing is we're putting the toe strap around it, hooked to the chain, hooked to the bottom of that post. So theoretically, <laughs> We drive truck and trailer forward, and the hay bale should wind up right there. We'll see. <laughs> Redneck style. <laughs> it almost went. Oh, shit. Hi, Creed. 
How'd that go? Greed. Can, hold on, let's get Callie. Can you do it, buddy? Can you do it? Yeah. What do you think? Guys, here's all the metal. That was all free metal. And then this came off of what? Off the old cabin. That was the, it was two roofs on there. Not this one. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Oh, it came off of here. Yeah, when we took the roof off, there was two roofs on top of that, that A-frame or whatever you want to call it. That yeah. People in. But it was two, there was one. Two layers of roofing. Two layers. Oh, I gotcha. Roof. Okay. Yeah, and so that, the, the roofing I'm giving you is actually the bottom layer. So it's got nice. those holes in it. Nice. That's all right. So. So it's a little Swiss cheese, but we, we tried to keep them c coming off straight as we could. They look good. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple that are just gnarly. <laughs> That'll be fine because my. Uh, you can have those gnarly ones too. If the you want. I don't. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> no, use that for pig fencing. That's what. That's what I was. Lay them do. horizontal across the bottom. Yeah, yep. that'll keep them in. That was my plan. Is to kind of put them up against the the uh, jack pines as I put those up. Yeah, yeah, because they don't like cutting their noses. They'll leave it alone. Nice. All right. Well, these are. 15, 14 footers, yeah. and we brought a 12 foot trailer. Mm -hmm. Might be able to make them bend, right? Yeah, yeah, we could do that. It probably won't kink, right? Yeah, if it does, Maybe. you just unkink it. Whatever. I think that'll work with enough. Enough weight on them, yeah. Probably won't bend. I can put a two by four. Something like that in there to help hold them flat. Yeah, you want to do that? Yeah. Or a log or whatever you can spare. I love this stuff. This whole galvanized. Yeah. It's, it's strong, durable stuff, too. This is what we wound up cutting up and putting on the cabin. Did you? Yeah, it came off an old barn. Oh, you actually use reclaim too? Yeah, somewhere else. Somewhere else. I love that. I love using the reclaim part, you know? Like this, you know, having a roof to re-roof re again, give it a second roof. It's all good. I'll have some cut ends and stuff. All right, guys, we are loaded up. Got the uh, got the metal in the back heading heading out. I don't know why. I don't know why I thought it was a 15 foot trailer, <laughs> just a 12 foot trailer. But um, yeah, we're good. We are good. So we're gonna get this stuff home. Hopefully before dark. It's getting late. It has been a long. I put my seatbelt on. It's been a long day of running around, uh, just doing a bunch of different little things. So tomorrow, uh, hopefully we can get the roof put on the cow structure, shelter, home, cow home. We're gonna be needing a name for our cow, guys, so if you have a suggestion, put it in the comments below. Okay, see?